Hi, Steve Bergen here, and I'm going to share in a pretty quick video a useful iPad trick with keyboard shortcuts. Um, if I can, I'll also include something with font size. So let's take a look at my screen here and get rid of this. And now you're looking at my iPad. If I type in SBE, it's a three letter code so that if I type in space, it generates my email. Now it does that in any writing environment whenever you need your email you can just put in the three letter code All right i've got a friend my larry bird doll i've done that for him as well l b e i tend to use three letter codes i think i have one for shipping address s h i space and it gives a shipping address okay let's get rid of all that and I think I've got one more that I occasionally use called PLE. It's always a three letter code that I don't use as a word. So it has to be distinctive. Now to get into this on iOS 6 or iOS 7, right, you're gonna get yourself into settings and gonna, gonna go under um, not notifications, um, but under general and to the very bottom of general, right, um, whether you're in iOS 6 or 7, you're going to look for the keyboard setting. So in keyboard setting, at the very bottom, you will have something that says add new keyboard and add new shortcut. And you'll have the shortcuts that you create right above it. So let's pretend your name is Jane Doe and we will add a new shortcut. I tend to use J D E because I'm not going to use that for anything else. Sorry, that goes in the shortcut. J D E. And up in the phrase I'll go Jane Doe at gmail.com. So all you do is you create this combo of a shortcut, very short phrase that you don't use for anything else, and the phrase itself, you choose save. You will accumulate some of the shortcuts on the very bottom. And then to use them, you're going to go to any place where you can do some writing. Okay, let me select all and get rid of this. And I will type in LBE. Again, you get that. Push return type in JDE that we just created and you get that. You can see how it whispers that to you um, and you're on your way. If you want to delete one, you go back to your settings, you go back to the bottom of general, not notifications, not sounds, but general. You go to the bottom of net general, you go to keyboard, you click edit, and you click the minus and that lets you get the deleting button so you can delete that all right um, towards the bottom of general is something called accessibility and accessibility is for people who may be physically challenged and need to have certain things turned on but it has many useful features for us as well right so if you go to large text this is where I'm changing the size of the text that I see when I go to notepad and that's why I had larger writing or smaller writing. Okay, hope this short video has been of help to you. Steve Bergen signing off. Thanks everybody, bye.